Well, hey everybody, here's Pastor Stefan with your weekly memo, and I have my friends from the nursery school here, and you're seeing a new friend here today. This is Marie Engelhart. I have a special announcement. Marie has recently accepted the position as nursery school director, so we are all thanking God for that. Uh, Marie comes to us with her master's in education from Eastern University. She has a lot of experience teaching at Delaware County Christian School, as well as a lot of the homeschool co-ops in the area, as well as home educating her own kids. She's got twins at our church that are in their senior year this year and she's super excited and she's an awesome artist and brings a lot of art to this as well so the first thing we want to do in today's memo is let Marie say hello to you and then Tammy's going to share a little bit about what's next for her and then Claudia is going to share about her role and I'll share about that as well so why don't you go ahead and just say hello to the church Marie hello to the church <laughs> I'm glad to be here Wonderful. I want you to just share really briefly a little bit about your um, passion for teaching and some of the things you've done. Well, I've been home educating my kids, like you said, for the last 20 years or so. And um, this is a new season of my life where my kids are growing up and they're going to be graduating soon. And so I'm thankful that the Lord has directed me here Amen. to Manila. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he has in store. Amen. And when you get to talk to Marie, just ask her some of the God stories here because uh, she and her family started worshiping with us every Sunday in January during the COVID se se season and popped up just a few weeks ago. And uh, the Holy Spirit put her on our hearts and everybody on the committee, as well as her husband, <laughs> to pursue this. And so we see God's fingerprints all over this, and we thank God for you, Marie. So pray for her as she steps into this role. And, and we have the other ladies here, Tammy and Claudia, who are now onboarding Marie. And Tammy, as you know, is moved to Lancaster. So Tammy, can you just share really briefly uh, about the, the transition here and what's next for you and how the church can be praying for you? Sure. Well, it's um it's been a quick uh, transition in some ways. We had talked a long time about retiring to Lancaster, but uh, weren't quite in that space, but the Lord clearly led us out there last summer. And um, I was very, very happy to be able to see my contract through uh and and be able to have this year of transition uh, but traveling back and forth was very clear that i couldn't do it for a long long time so um this is where we're at and we are thrilled to be with our family closer to our children um, and i do have a brand new beautiful grandson who is so awesome um, so the lord has really given me an opportunity now as a grandma known as Mimi, um, to influence his his life and support uh, my daughter and son-in-law. So that is where we're moving um, towards is, is being a part of their life on a more daily basis. And I don't know what else the Lord has. So pray for that because mm -hmm. we'll be, of course, looking for a new church and really seeking and expecting the Lord to continue to use us um, where he has planted us. Mm. Wonderful. And Claudia is coming back. She's historically been our assistant director. She's going to be associate director starting this fall and through the summer and working closely with Marie and has a lot of the history of the program. How many years have you been with our program now, Claudia? Well, as a mom, I guess from the first day I walked in here, it's been 15 yeah, 15 years. Um, and then I started as an assistant in the classrooms, and then I started as an aide in the classrooms, and then three or four years ago, I started as the assistant director in the office with my boss and best friend, Tammy <laughs> Fong. And um, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to see all the different sides of the school as a parent, as a teacher, and now in the office. And I'm so looking forward to working with you and being of service, hopefully. To you. I think I've learned so much from Tammy and um, I hope I do a good job passing it on, the knowledge, not forgetting everything. But. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. Really I think we have, uh, how many kids registered so far for the fall? Oh gosh, there's more than 70. Yes. More than 70. And, and there's kids on the waiting list. Yes. I was at the pool the other day um, and there was a family saying, hey, we want to get our, they heard I was Pastor Manoa. I, I, We'd love to get our kids into the school. Is there an opening? I said, if there's a wait list, please reach out. And so mm -hmm. this program has a great reputation. We're so excited, Marie, that you're coming on board mm -hmm. and joining the team. Uh, such a lovely sister in the Lord, and she is part of the Manoa Community Church family on Sunday mornings as well. So come 
find her, pray for her, support her, cheer her on. I know that we're going to uh, see a wonderful transition into this fall. And thank you, Claudia, yes. for your support in this. So Tammy, nice. Tammy's just done a great job and continues to. She's here till August. 12th, thank you. Uh, so she will be around this summer. So yes. if you're around here, please say hello to her before yes. her last day on August 12th. So pray for thank the you. school, pray against this COVID variant, pray that we can open big, open strong, and have these classrooms open uh, at a fuller capacity as well. So we thank God for you. We thank God for your support of Manoa Community Church and the Manoa Nursery School. And we love you. Uh, we'll see you this Sunday at 10 a.m. as we continue in our preaching series, Life on Mission. God bless you. Thank you.